enforcement staff developed the Enforcement Data Visualization System, or EDVS, to help Californians better understand CARB's enforcement efforts in their own communities. This tool shows CARB's enforcement activities across the state on an interactive map. These activities include field inspections, case settlements, and Supplemental Environmental Projects, or SEPs. We developed this tool to enhance transparency, provide community members a user-friendly way to access CARB enforcement activities, and facilitate the development of emission reduction programs in communities across California. To learn more about this program, please read the About EDVS section in the pop-up on the home screen, or click on the About Information button. It has a How to Use and an About the Data section. The data used to create this application come from CARB's internal enforcement databases. Enforcement activities are added regularly to the tool and you can look up enforcement activities by year. Let us begin by learning how to use the search feature. One of the tool's search options is in the upper left corner of the map. Here you can search by location using the city, zip code, or address. Let's search by zip code. I'm going to use Stockton's zip code for this exercise. Numerous blue circles now appear on the map of Stockton. These blue circles represent where we have conducted heavy-duty vehicle inspections for all years throughout the area. The numbers in the blue circles indicate the amount of inspections done in that area. Some of these are darker blue, and some are lighter blue with a light blue halo around them. The darker blue circles represent that the number you see in the circle are the number of inspections conducted in that location. The other circles mean that some locations are combined and you need to zoom in further using the plus button in the lower right corner of the screen to further split up the inspections. If you zoom in far enough you will only see dark blue circles. If you zoom out far enough, using the minus button, you can gather up all of the inspections into one, as I've done for all of California just now. Zooming back in, you can click on any blue circle, and a pie chart with a table will appear on the right, giving you the inspection details for that area. This includes total number of inspections, total violations, both emissions and non-emissions, and compliance rates. A non-emission violation is for failing to report correctly or not having a proper label. It's a violation not resulting in excess emissions, which is captured in the Emissions Violations section. Another feature of the map you can click on is the Around Me button to view the enforcement activities in your area. Since I'm in Sacramento, the map shows the enforcement activities in the Sacramento area. The button to the left of the Around Me button is the Recenter button. You should see the entire map of California like we do here, if you are in the Inspections map type, and you would see the entire world if you were in the Settlements map type. I'll go over the different map types later. Another search method is the Options button. This option lets you search by region, map type, program year, and program category. The default search methods are statewide, inspections, heavy-duty vehicles, all years, and all categories. To change them, click on the down arrows. For example, there are four region types to search by, either statewide, EJ communities, specific AB617 communities, or by specific air districts. If you want to create a different region, you can use the polygon and circle drawing buttons found in the upper right-hand corner of the map. The edit and trash can buttons can help you edit the size and shapes of the areas you're interested in. You can also save or delete your searches. For any region you choose, you will see all of the enforcement activities in that region. 
The next search option is the type of enforcement action. You can either search by inspections or case settlements. From there, you can choose what enforcement program type. There are five different programs to choose from. Heavy duty vehicles, fuels, railroad and marine, consumer products, and vehicle and engines. To learn more about these various enforcement programs and of CARB's regulations, please visit CARB Enforcement's webpage listed at the end of this video. You can also refine your search by year. The default is all years, but you can search year by year as well. The data begin in 2015. To search further back, you would need to contact CARB Enforcement staff. The final search refinement option is what category of inspection you are interested in. For example, there are 12 different categories of heavy-duty vehicle inspections that you can search by including inspections conducted under our HDVIP or Heavy-Duty Vehicle Inspection Program. Likewise, there are multiple categories under each inspection program. For example, under Consumer Products, there are aerosol coatings, antiperspirant and deodorants, composite wood, and other consumer products. These program categories are also described further on CARB Enforcement's webpage. If you want to do a broader search, select All Categories and the tool will search for each enforcement program type listed. If you want to look up case settlements in the Options panel, from the second drop-down, choose Settlements, and be prepared to see settlements from around the world as we settle cases regarding certification of engines with manufacturers from all across the world. To look up specific case settlements, return to your search bar and enter a city, zip, or address. Let's use Stockton again as the example. If I click on the blue circle with the number 2 in it, we can see the results of two settlements in the area. If I click on the one on the right, we see a settlement with a company for $170,625 and a summary of the case below it. If I click on the blue circle to the left, we see another settlement for $8,625. Settlements with SEPs are included in the settlement details. In Stockton, CARB settled with a company for $65,750 and the company agreed to fund a school bus SEP for $16,437. There's a direct link to the settlement agreement through the button at the bottom of the description if you want to learn more. Finally, the easiest way to restart a search is to go back to the Options button and select your new criteria. We hope this demonstration gives you an idea of what EDVS can do. If you have any questions about the visualization tool, please contact CARB's Community Outreach Enforcement section at coes at arb.ca.gov and visit our webpage for more information on CARB's enforcement programs. Thanks for watching.